First of all, well, I have notes this time. I have notes. I am prepared. So, first thing is, this is only my second haircut this year. This one should last until <laughs> at least Christmas. Okay. Anyway, all right. There won't be a magic Q snap this time. Because I have been gone, well, I've been absent from my videos for such a long time. I've got a lot to show. I've got a lot of whips, new starts, I have finishes, and I've got haul. So, we're going to start right now and get right into it. So maybe I can get this done and you can go about your day without too much delay. Okay. All right. First of all, I want to show you my July whip go um, pieces. I think I showed you at the end of my last video maybe what it was that I was going to be working on. But I'm not sure. But here they go. Okay. The first one for July was Yin Yang from Stitch Rovia. Okay. People have said that I go too fast. I'm going to try to slow down. But like I said, I do want to get all of this in. And I don't want to hold you all day to see it. But I guess you could, you know, pause it and go back and finish. But anyway. Okay, here is... I may have shown this to you already. But anyway, here is where I am now. I'll try to put in a picture of where it was the last time. But this is where I'm at now. This is on a 22 count Ada or Hardanger white, and it's being stitched one thread over two with all the call for DMC. I love it. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm going to hold it up a little bit longer today. So hopefully you get to see it. And maybe I'll get one of these as my thumbnail. Okay. And it won't just show my face, you know, with a stupid expression. Because, you know, who knows? I make some faces sometimes. The second one in July was Crystal. And this was, this is from, this is what it looks like. And this is, and this is where I am on Crystal. And oh, let me move my paper here. Okay. This is Crystal. This is from crossstitchingart.com. It's on 32 count Lugana Hura from Under the Sea Fabrics. And it's stitched two over two with DMC colors. Okay. I hope you can hear me trying to talk from behind the, the pieces. 
as long as I've been doing these videos, you would think I have everything down pat on how to do this. The best way to show it. And, you know, the best way to tell you about it. But anyway, okay. Um, did I put him? Hold on one second. I think, I mean, I had everything in the order that I wanted to show them. Oh, okay. Okay, for August, for August, okay, I had an accident. And when I looked at my my whip go board and it said one thing and I just blocked it out and excuse me and I decided that this is what I was supposed to be stitching on and my goal this month was to finish actually finish two small pieces um, the one I finished is this and this is called Fireside, um, Fireside Sampler. It's stitched on, uh, wait a minute, now I'm out of, see I'm out of, I, I've already messed up, I'm out of, here it is, Fireside, Fireside Sampler, and I'll start here at the beginning. I'm going to read the other half. Okay. And it's called Fireside Sampler. It's from Silver, um, Silver Creek Sampler Samplers. It's stitched on 36 count picture this plus Taicho 1 over 2. I started in January of 2020 and I finished it August 9th 2021. Now, this I had worked on earlier this year as a whip go and put in a thousand stitches. Well for some reason I pulled it thinking that it was this one. How I got them two mixed up I do not know. But this is one of my actual whip goals for August and I'm supposed to do a finish. This is Sampler Roundy by Shakespeare's Petler. I don't know how my mind just blanked out and for some reason I thought that's what I was supposed to be working on and I finished it it was a pain because it was a lot more than just a thousand stitches and it was quite a bit but this is the one that I should have been working on sampler roundy And as you can see, there's not a whole lot. There's not really a whole lot to do left to do on it. You know, so it was an easy enough finish if I had pulled it out and finished it while I was stitching those three or four days on that thing. So. When you see this next next time, it will be finished. Um, my other whip go is what I'm currently stitching on today, and it is on Wednesday. We stitch black. This is a chart. I didn't bring the 
I don't have a picture with me. I just have the, the chart. But this was part of the 20, 2014, 2015 um, mystery stitch alone from the primitive hair. And I'll take this part out for you. And this was the last section of that stitch alone. And it's just that it has so much black in it that. And after a while you get kind of tired of it but it says on Wednesday we stitch black and this witch is duplicated is is uh, duplicated on this side so that is what all I have left is the bottom half of her dress and her boots and her broom and this will be a finish which is what my whip go called for and those were those are my August whip goes okay now let me see if I, uh, and it's stitched on let's see let me finish it's stitched on 28 count even weave oatmeal and it's 2 over 2 on with DMC DMC 310 and uh, what is this green? 3012. Okay. Now. Alright, my whips. Re just regular whips. Now, at the very end of July. Well, after I had finished up my whip goes, I started to work on uh, my 2020 pandemic sampler this is by Sashi Girl on Instagram and it's a free um, sample excuse me sampler and um, this is where I'm at now I had started working on I started stitching that big white house <coughs> excuse me and that's a big house and there's another one over on the this side over here and it's a uh, burgundy a burgundy red but this I'm not in any hurry to finish this and it's a sampler so I'm taking my time on that one and I work a little bit on it as you know between um, whip go projects and new starts and this is stitched on a 32 count Lugana dark cobblestone and I got that from Stony Creek okay my new starts oh, okay no I'm not I'm not even done with finish uh finishes I do have another finish this was uh Harriet Tubman by the Primitive Hair. I don't know if I showed it to you once I finished it. But this is Harriet Tubman. You can tell I don't like to iron. I don't iron anything. But this is Harriet Tubman. I think she's beautiful. And let's see, Harriet Tubman. She stitched on uh, 30 count parchment. Prim, uh, pictured this plus. So my finishes was this one and the one I did by accident. And you've seen my whips. My whip goes. You've seen one whip. Okay, like I said, it was only a little bit. I started that White House on. Um, the 2020 pandemic sampler and this is a new start and it's called this was a gift from Victoria and this is uh, forever and ever 
by Cottage Garden Samplings. I'm stitching it on 32 count. This is this is where I am. And it's being stitched on 32 count Belfast linen vintage stormy night. It's a Swigert fabric, and I get it from Garon Stitchery. And I love it's. There's another robin, as you can see, that vine goes up on the other side. Another flower. Well, the two flowers at the top and that other, the red robin. And I am loving the way this one has come out, turned out so far. This is the female. So, this is forever and ever. I love that. I don't know why I left these clips on. Who knows? I think I was, thought I was going to go back to this one. I know what I, I went to a retreat in uh, King of Prussia, oh, uh, Pennsylvania, and that's what it was. I took this. This is what I was stitching on on the way there. Well, not on the, the day before we got there. Right after we got there, I stitched on this the first day. So that was a whip, <clears> on <throat> a new start. Um. My next new start is called Phantom. A friend of mine named Jan hit stitch one of these cats. And I fell in love with her design or her, her, her stitching. This is from Kitty and Me. And I had to buy one and this particular cat phantom reminded me of Smokey so that's why I got it now I haven't stitched his ears so it looks kind of crazy it looks kind of I don't know it looks kind of weird but this is phantom this is where I am And this is being stitched on 28 count Lugana. It's called Pele's Fire from Under the Sea Fabrics. I love it. I love the eyes. I took and and this is what I showed off. Well, showed off. Showed as in the show and tell portion of the retreat. And So that was a that was a new start since my last video. And this is a new, another new start. <clears throat> There's a story behind this too. This is ABC de la Brodeurs. Okay. This is what it looks like. And I know everybody has seen uh, Shelia of Sunshine Stitchers. And my friend and I, Jan decided we were going to start this as a retreat start and this is where I am so far 
this is as much as I've got done. I was at a retreat, so uh, number one, I didn't want to get my fabric stained. Uh, number two, I was at a retreat, so there wasn't a lot of stitching. But we had, um, they had some games. We played games, and our table, our group at our table, everybody's table had to have a name for their group. So we had been saying, we had been looking at this part of this chart, and we decided, Jan and I decided that instead of ABC de la Bordeaux, which is so, it's French, and it's just easier to call this Ada Button. She is now Ada Button. That was the name of our group also. And we won. On one game night we won and we get a $25 uh, $20 gift certificate from Silk Weavers and uh, Needleworkers Delight. And of course, you know, we gave it right back to them by purchasing in the in the store that they had set up. So this is my Ada button, and that's what she'll be known as from now on as Ada button. It's a lot easier for me to pronounce. Okay. Next on the agenda, uh, next up is gifts. Gifts and freebies. Okay. Uh, a, a very good friend, subscriber, sent me as a gift as a thank you this is from Denise this is much I'm just gonna say Denise um, this is so this is beautiful this is a she sent me a beautiful card and this is from mystic diamond art no mystical diamond art I'm sorry and this is called Captain Jack. I love this fat, this um, this floss. I love it. This is beautiful. It has the gray and blue. It's beautiful. That is gorgeous. Sorry about that. I keep dropping things. That's what happens when you don't have as much lap as you used to. Okay. Now, um, I got some beautiful thank you gifts from Sharon. I got Little House Needleworks Warm Winter Woolens. And Madame Chantilly's Love You. Thank you very much, ladies. I also get, I can't, well, I can't show you the chart, but it's the chart from Al Forest, the dragon. Yeah, the mythical dragon from Al Forest. That was from Jan. So thank you. Appreciate that. I have a couple freebies that I downloaded. This one is from I think I'm not quite sure. I think this is Noriko So. It's she's on Instagram and no non stop non nons top non. I think that's how you say it. But I thought this was so cute. 
that's her on Instagram and this is like those picture graphs a picture graph um, like the little images they had for the Olympics I think that was so cute and it's an Olympic stitcher love it uh, this is from Barbara Anna Designs this is a freebie you can go to her website and, and download that this is Molly something about Molly just makes me like her she's a chicken oh. yep she's a chicken I love it. so I downloaded that one okay this is some haul that I purchased This is non treat, non retreat haul. Okay. This is a kit that I purchased from Garon Stitchery. It is called Field Hand. And yes, it is a very, very small full coverage piece. I know I say I don't do full coverage, but I love this one. So this is Field Hand from Posey Collection. They usually do the ones for the national parks and the one I'm stitching, the Martin Luther King Memorial, that's from Posey Collection. Okay, the next items are some this is some fabric that I purchased from Garon Stitchery it is from it is dyed by Mystic Fabrics but it is beautiful this is called Chinchilla it's a 32 count no actually this is a 36 count a 36 count Chinchilla it's gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Don't know what I'm going to put on it yet. But once I get everything, because I hadn't put anything up. Excuse me. Ah. Excuse me. I hadn't put anything up. I don't know. It smells good. Anyway, I hadn't put anything up yet because I hadn't shown it. So once I get everything Put away and situate it and then I can look at my charts and decide on what new fabrics that I have what I'm going to stitch some of these kit some of these stuff up with okay so this was the last um, uh, fabric I got from Fortnite fabrics this is Shirley And this is from the Subtle Samplers Collection. It's beautiful. It's... It has pinkish and a little brownish. But they're very subtle. So that's the Subtle Sampler. But I love these. These are great neutrals that you can stitch just about anything on. So I love those. I love it. It has a pinks and a little bit of brown. My camera, I don't know, this lighting is terrible and it won't show up, but it's it's gorgeous, believe me. And the next one is Halcyon. I don't, I can't pronounce it. That's the name. And it's from Under the Sea Fabrics. And it's gorgeous. Also, oh, it's gorgeous. It's the, the the teal blue with the darker blues. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. I love it. Like I said, I don't know exactly what I'm going to stitch on them yet. Until I have everything situated. 
they're all going in my stash. Now, here are some charts. Now, I didn't download the charts. I have them saved on my computer. I just printed off the cover pages. Now, these don't have names. And I don't know if I saw this one uh, that I think this is the one that uh, McKenna just showed on her on her video the other day. I don't know if I saw this on her. Maybe she showed it on Instagram, but I saw it somewhere, and I went to this site. This the site is Stitching Spell, and it's an Etsy store. And I ordered. I got this one. It's a PDF download, so I ordered that one. While I was there, I love Captain Jack Sparrow, so I got this one. And this, I get this. One. So, don't know what I'm going to put them on, or when I'm going to start them. But I will put down all of these websites and Etsy stores. I'm going to put that down on um, the description box below. <clears throat> and of course, I'm a fan, I'm a big fan of Night, Night Spirit Studio. I love her work. And I saw this one, and I had to have it. It's called The Bat Skeleton. I love it. I love it. This is, like I said, Night Spirit Studio. I have it partially, well, I have it kitted up. And I have it kitted on 14 count black Ada with the DMC call for flosses. The next one is also from Night Studio, a uh, Night Spirit Studio. This is Pain. The ornate version. Let me just slide this this cover out. I love it. Night Spirit Studio. Love it. Now. <clears throat> Seeing as how I have a very, I don't know how you would call it, scary version of a hand, I thought this would be also great to maybe put them side by side. This is from Wild Violet Cross Stitch, Butterfly Landing on Victorian Hand. Love it. Love it. It's so delicate. I, love, I just love it. And it's so simple. None of that is filled in. It's just the outline. You know, I like. I love that. Okay. Um, the next one is. This is called Skate Crew. And it's from Sinji Stitch. The designer's name is Rachel Moore. And I thought this was gorgeous. I love it. Love, love, love it. Skate Crew, Sinji Stitch. 
Rachel Moore. That's fantastic. I love that. And I have it partially kitted up. I think I'm missing a couple flosses. Yeah, there's a couple flosses that I'm missing. But I've decided to stitch it on um, a 32 count even weave. And it's just a, a taupe. I think that'll bring out the colors in that design very well. I did a floss toss and I think they, they show up really good on that. Okay. Um I know I'm I'm, I'm sure by now everybody's seen this uh, the just cross stitch magazine, the Halloween edition. I just I had just gotten it. And there is quite a bit in this magazine that I want to stitch. And I'll show you, yeah, I'll show you just the gallery pages. And I'll go slow over the gallery pages. And if you don't have it yet, this should help put you over the, over the, push you over the edge and have you going out looking for it. There are some fantastic items in this magazine. That's one page. And this is the second page. I'm just trying to make sure I get them all in there. So, yes, I have, let's see, I've got tabs on the pages. I won't go through, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There's like 12 of these ornaments that I think are, are fantastic. You know I love Halloween. So if you saw anything and the page numbers on there, if you want me to show a bigger picture of it, just list it down in the in the uh, description in the comment box. Okay. Now these last few things, there was, like I say, at the um, retreat, we get, we get freebies. We get some random charts and little random kits. We get flosses, a couple of flosses. We got a tablet. Great for making shopping lists, you know. what you need from your LNS when you get ready to go. If you don't have the list, the shopping list on your phone, you can, so that's a good one. Like I said, we got all kind of little random stuff. We get, um, I think, thread waxer, stuff like that. But, purchases. I'll start with this one. There were three designers at, three main designers actually at the retreat. We had Susan Greening Davis, and she had her antique uh, samplers. She had, uh, there was a round robin. I didn't attend the round robins, but the one that I did go to, the one uh, little group, she had a lecture on uh, gadgets. And that's where I found... I found out about these things. The cable ties, but I've seen people use them to hold their fabric. They have magnets. So of course, as soon as I return, 
I hit up Amazon and I ordered some and it came in and I've got two different sizes I got the small ones and there's some that's larger so learn I get I learned about those um, and I bought some banding fabric uh, it was hard to look for banding when I was looking for it to make the uh, Ada Bud excuse me and um, this banding was a little bit it's, it's a lot smaller I can't, it's not wide enough for that but I saw it and I really liked it this has a finished edge and this is actually not ribbon that's sewn on they were some that have ribbon sewn onto the edge this one is actually finished that way see it goes all the way through and I love it it's nice it's I think this is a 14 count but that's I love this and it's white so I can use it for pretty much anything the reason I bought it was uh, according to Susan now she purchases this her bandings from Germany and where she where she purchases it, it from was one of the places that was hit hard with the flooding and from what I understand the the looms that this banding and stuff was made on these are old wooden looms that can't be repaired or replaced so a lot of them were lost. So I'm not sure if they will upgrade and you know redo it, but a lot of the banding once it's gone, it's gone. So while I was there and I saw that, I, I purchased a couple of yards of it just in case I there's something I wanted to put on banding. I would have some and I would have some good beautiful banding. Now, like I said, it's white. If I want to um, coffee tea diet or or, or over diet, you know, <clears throat> with Rit dye, um, hopefully it'll be able to, it will accept the colors. And I can, you know, make it look a little bit different instead of just the plain white. If not, it's beautiful with the, with the finished edges. Okay. The, one of the other designers that was there is Maureen Appleton. She is the owner of the Hearts Content Incorporated. And she they her and her husband they he does beautiful woodwork. Um and um I, I'm I'm gonna be honest I couldn't afford the woodwork to be honest. It was way over my budget, and I didn't really have anywhere to put these pieces, so I didn't order, I didn't purchase any. They were beautiful. What I did purchase was, since I love stitching people, and I love Flossie. Flossie is her logo. for her business, The Heart's Content. And this is the original design she made. And one is um, she has the uh, silks, original silks that it called for. And she also has it the equivalent in DMC. So this one I, I I like this one. So and then this is a future needle minder that will go on that project when I start it. It's her pen that has her logo. 
and this flossy will go with flossy when I start it. Okay, and the other designer that was there was a young lady by the name of Annette Gunn. She is the owner of Mind Your Needles. It, uh, Mind Your Needle. It's a Facebook based group. And she makes beautiful, beautiful needle minders. Clay needle minders. And these were at a very reasonable price. I love them. And the funny part about it, she has these two inch nails. Her nails are two. And she makes these. Here, let me put this behind it so you'll be able to see it. I love the little brown mermaid love her and yes I did just break the handle off my broom which will I can pull a dollar glue should be able to fix it and this little witch love them so I got those two needle minders from Mind Your Needles by Annette Gunn and those are the uh, other two design. That was the other designer. Now I'll show you this one. This is a chart that I bought from uh, Needleworkers Delight. They had a store set up. So this is these are the charts that I bought from them. It's only two. This one's a hands-on design. This is from 2014. So it's not a new design, but new to me. I hadn't seen it before. And this is called Blissfully Unaware. It says, if you are reading this, then you are blissfully unaware of what is creeping up behind you. I thought that was funny. I like that. So, there's that one. And I was taken so much by my phantom that I saw this and I just had to have this one also. This is Jelly Bean. And it's from Kitty and Me. And it's another cat. I think it is gorgeous. I love the purple eyes. And this is the fabric that I chose specifically for this chart. It is called Exotic Orchid. It's 32 cal Lin uh, Lugana. I think it is beautiful. And this is a Swigert base. And this is excuse me silk weaver so that is specifically for that chart the rest is just a plethora of fabric that I'm adding to my stash the first one from silk weaver is a solo die so this one doesn't have a name but it's a 32 count Lugana and I think it's gorgeous it has purples and blues and a little bit of pink gorgeous and it's exotic no this is a solo dye the last, last one was a exotic orchid but this is a solo dye and it doesn't have a name the next one is a Wexford Linen, it's 32 count, and it's called Poltergeist. It's a gray, purplish gray, model, a lot of modeling in it, and it's called Poltergeist. Love that. I have a piece of black Lugana. It's a 32 count. Well, this is no, this is a, a black linen, Belfast. 
and I have a couple items that I wanted to stitch on black and that's it that's what that's for the next one is a 32 count Lugana the color of stone gray which to me looks more brown so it's a grayish brown I love it great uh, neutral the next one I have a chart can't remember now what it is that I wanted to put on the orange can't remember now but this I love this is a Wexford linen pumpkin spice it's gorgeous Gorgeous. Love that. Then this one is called Tipsy Toad. It's a 32 count Wexford linen. That's gorgeous. Gary, you might wish you had some of this. You know I love Halloween too, so got a Halloween in mind. And this one is called Coco. It's a 32 count Wexford linen. It's beautiful. It's brown. It has the light mottling in it. There we go. Gorgeous. So, that is. Huh, that was my um, haul. So, I've shown you all of my haul gifts, my whips, my finishes, my new starts. Um, the only thing left is to add in some pictures from the retreat, my table mates, and some of the, we didn't have a uh, break table, but they had a show and tell. So, some of the people who decided to show some of their um, stitching off, it didn't have to be finished, didn't have to be FFO'd, um, and like I said, I even got to show off my uh, Phantom, and I was working on it. So, um, that's what I'll do. I'll put in a short montage and some photos at the end, and that's all I've got for you now. Um, Hopefully we'll get into some um, Magic Q-Snap next time. So, a few announcements. Um, well, not announcements, but uh, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers for uh, clicking that button and subscribing. I hope you have that bell. You, you click the bell. So you'll get notifications when I do my next videos. Um, I, I thank you for coming out and spending some of your day with me. I hope you were able to see everything. If you didn't, let me know. Um, leave me a comment. That's how you get in the Magic Hue Snap. So leave me a comment. Um, I appreciate and I read them. I read everyone. So leave me a comment. Um, I do. I I made my. Um, I do have a buy me a coffee. It will be listed in the description box below. So far, I had thirty. I had two uh, donations, and I made donations to Shriners Hospital and. Oh my goodness, what is it? The two... Uh, oh, St. Jude. St. Jude Children Hospital and Shriners. Those are the two um, charities that Ronnie from Garon Stitchery, those were his his charities for his birthday charities that he, do, he does every year. And he had made these beautiful 
beautiful project bags. And from what I understand, these bags went in eight minutes. Once they were on sale, they went in eight minutes. And I'm old. I was too slow to get a bag. Either one. He had the larger ones and then he had small ones. And I didn't get either one. But I want to be a part of his charity, so my buy me a coffee went to his charities. So I went to a good good cause. And I appreciate uh 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 Drusilla and let's see. I really appreciate my two subscribers, Molly and Drusilla. Thank you very much. So your donations to me went to a good cause. And I appreciate it. And like I said, if you're interested in buying me a coffee, it's in the description box below. If you haven't subscribed, please click the button and subscribe. Like my video and hit that bell so you'll be notified. That's all for now. See you next time. Bye-bye.